Hello everyone and welcome to The Break Run. My name is Frank. And my name is Kevin. And today we're going to be discussing all of the recent announcements made by SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. So some sad news coming out of SeaWorld. Tilikum, the famous killer whale at SeaWorld Lano, did in fact recently pass away. Yeah, and it was unfortunate too because when SeaWorld did announce his passing due to natural causes, the media took it and spin it as of if course, it was SeaWorld's yeah. fault and kind of gave them a bad reputation. But Tilly was getting old, he's been through a lot, um, and he just died of natural causes, which happens to animals um, everywhere. So it's kind of sad to see that, but SeaWorld does have a bright future. Um, they recently did stop the killer whale show at SeaWorld San Diego. They're making a new orca encounter out of that. But they also announced some awesome additions coming for to that park in San Diego in 2018, which is Electric Eel, which is a launched premier ride Skyrocket 2 coaster coming to the park. So what do we think about this? I think this is a great addition for SeaWorld San Diego. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they definitely need a new coaster there. That We've been to that park. It's pretty much aquariums, two coasters, and that's it. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> none of their coasters are really high thrill rides. So this premier Skyrocket 2 gives that park an opportunity to get an inexpensive, high thrill ride for their park. Yeah. They already have limited space as it is. Yeah. So now with this ride, it'll bring in, hopefully it'll bring in people. It'll bring in a new market to this park. Yeah, and it's also interesting because they do have a height limit, which is why like Manta, their launch coaster is so small, but they got away with adding a 150 foot coaster and how it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting because it's gonna just stand out because you could like easily see the, um, the, their observation tower from miles away. So seeing this awesome 150 foot tall coaster is gonna just draw people to the park and I hope it, it seems like you guys just had a really good fit. Um, I think it's gonna help SeaWorld a lot. I like the theming of it, mm -hmm. um, like the electric eel and how it's a launch coaster and stuff. It, it's, it, I see only good things coming out of this. Yes, and it's gonna be a part of their new Ocean Explorer area, which is opening in 2017, but the yeah. coaster will open in 2018. Yeah, which are adding some new rides, um, which is gonna aim more towards families, like how they're doing that. This year is gonna be focusing on the families. Next year, bringing the thrill seekers, so. And I think I think it'll be an excellent addition. Yeah. But that was not the biggest surprise that came out of SeaWorld yeah. recently. And that is SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Coming to Abu Dhabi. What do we think about this? It was kind of out of nowhere. I mean, SeaWorld just announced they're doing massive layoffs, and a few days later, they're building a new park in Abu Dhabi, so. Yeah, I was very surprised by the announcement, too. However, I did some research, and it's actually gonna be funded primarily through a company called Moral. Okay. And Moral is a investment company that also runs Ferrari World, Abu Dhabi, and Yas Island Water World. Yeah. Um, so SeaWorld will be actually right next to Ferrari World, Abu Dhabi. So it most of the funding is gonna be coming through this morale, which is actually funded through the UAE government yeah. too. And it's not just like SeaWorld is doing all of it. It's, it's more or less just like they're building a new theme park what SeaWorld kind of just like adding in the name SeaWorld. And another thing is it's gonna have no killer whales and it's gonna be the first SeaWorld park to open to have no killer whales. Um, I think it's gonna be interesting to also see if, how they're gonna go with it. If they're gonna do more of like the Orlando park and add more, a lot of more coasters and thrill rides or just go more all animals and just add a ride or two. So it'll be yeah. interesting to see. Well, it is interesting to see and I, I know in the announcement, like everything that they do with their brand these days is about the rescue and rehabilitation program that they have. Yeah. And when you look at the announcement of the Abu Dhabi Park, it talked all about bringing a world-class rehabilitation and rescue center to the Middle East. Which is which great, is yeah. Unheard of. So I, I'm thinking that it's going to be leaning more towards that rescue. Me too, yeah. <clears throat> less, especially less rides, per se. Especially since it's going to be built in Abu Dhabi. There's so many parks out there that have a lot of coasters and thrill rides. Why have, have another park just like that? Right. Makes sense with the name SeaWorld to be focused focus more on the animals and the conservation. And what with their, what they're doing with the whales now and how they're scaling back on the shows, it only makes sense that it's not gonna have the killer whale show. Yeah, show. absolutely. So I think, personally, if it's funded primarily through this morale company, I, I really don't see any problem with this. I think it's actually a good move for SeaWorld. It's yeah, a, why not? It's a kind of like a do or die kind of yeah. move for them. So I, <clears throat> I applaud them for this and I, I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, me too. So um, a lot of stuff coming to SeaWorld I mean, this year that have VR Kraken, a lot of new um, parades and festivals, um, Ocean Explorer, the new Jet Rescue Coaster, and now Electric Ocean, the new park. SeaWorld is upping their game for the future, so it's really exciting to see. Yes, I definitely think it'll be super exciting time for SeaWorld. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they turn the tides on them. Yeah, so. absolutely. 
So let us know what you guys think. Do you guys like all the new additions coming to SeaWorld San Diego and SeaWorld Abu Dhabi? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Please click thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more coming theme park videos. Thanks so much for making us a part of your day. Have a good day. Bye. And subscribe to us on YouTube for more coming theme park videos.